Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Scourge Greatswords, and I, of course, am going to be showcasing it in full Radon fashion. As for the scaling of the weapon, it is primarily a strength weapon, although it does have some intelligence requirement, and investing in intelligence will get you a little bit of damage output as well. It also has some dexterity scaling. In fact, I got a little bit better damage output from investing into 54 strength and then putting the rest of the points into dexterity than I did going the pure strength route, so it's almost like a little bit of a quality weapon, but way more strength leaning. As for the moveset of the weapon, it's very similar to all other dual-wielded colossal swords. They have a very slow light attack startup, but you get some good poise, so you can trade into your opponent. Really good damage output, of course. The jumping light, backstep running attack, always good options as well. I also really enjoy the crouch attack. It comes out pretty quickly. It doesn't have the best range, but I find this mixed up with the natural lights will get your opponent off guard. Time that well, and you can get some roll catches. And of course, you also have access to the one-handed moveset, same as all other Colossal Swords. I really do enjoy the fact that we can still get a crouch poke out of this weapon, so we get some good pressure as well. It's not as fast as it once was, and it doesn't have the best range, but we can definitely get some roll catches this way as well. The Star Scorer's Greatsword is a somber smithing stone weapon, so we do only have access to its natural Ash of War, Star Caller Cry. You get the gravity pull in, and you can follow up with the AoE as well if you choose to. Has really good damage output, pretty hard to land, we'll see how many we manage to land in the duels. As for the choice of Talisman, I am using the Shard of Alexander to boost the damage of the Ash of War in case I land it. I have the Claw Talisman to enhance the jump attacks, the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Bulgo Talisman to hit some high poise. That's all I really have to say about the weapon though, let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, we have our first opponent, a hero. I hope he appreciates my Radon cosplay. <laughs> he actually pulled out a telescope. Oh, what? Thank you. What is he using? The bouquet? Okay. Hello there, here, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what, I hope people appreciate my cosplay. We'll see how we do. So he's pulling out a heavy thrusting sword. Running a heavy? Yes. You can actually do the crouch poke with the one-handed version of the sword, which is pretty nice. And you can get some roll catches in with the backstep running attack. I don't know if we're gonna get <laughs> the Ash of War off. Kind of, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Okay, maybe we'll do wheel a little bit as well. It does work out pretty well. The recovery on that's kind of slow, so you're gonna have to watch out. Take a trade there. <laughs> I was hoping you'd panic roll and get by that. Ooh, came out pretty quick. What do we need to finish him? I think one hit will do it. Oh, he's actually using the, the heavy into the... Ooh. Oh, that trade. Unfortunate hero. I like the set, though. And the crag blade. This will be my celebratory emote. Our next opponent is Buff Uggs. Hello there. Okay, so you're going to be going for... I get it. Maybe the beautiful heavy attack combo that it, it has potential to not really, I mean, sometimes one shot, depends on the health of your opponent, but it does some pretty immense damage. Come here. <laughs> I like to make them panic as I miss entirely. All right, what are we changing to? A better shield? Oh, the quick step, okay. Aha, ooh, it actually sucked him back in. Honestly, surprised. Hello there. <laughs> you can't escape Radon. <laughs> okay, maybe you can escape Radon. But not for long. I will throw things at you. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we trying to make it one shot? One shot potential? <laughs> nice. <laughs> the running attack has a pretty good hitbox. If you do want a delayed attack. That worked out pretty well. Radon is the winner. Malekith, all right, with the Murray Executioner. Interesting. Oh, you pop my defense bubble. Oh, maybe he did that actually to do some poise damage. Sometimes doing that can be pretty useful for the Ash of War. <laughs> the one-handed version of this one. Come here. I yeah, get a little bit closer. The follow-up is pretty good. 
We do get the thrust attack with this. Something I rather enjoy. <laughs> oh, you probably should have kept that turn towards me. Would have worked. Now, how am I going to try to land the Ash of War? Who could dodge, honestly? He's going to do a follow up, yeah. Ooh, some good damage there. <laughs> I didn't have time to dodge out of it. Bam! The jump attack with these is pretty good as well. I think it might have a little slower recovery than things like the axe. Yeah, it does. But really good damage output. Our next challenger is Cringe Omen. <laughs> Hello, Cringe Omen. All right, I'm going to eat a crab here just for fun. Get some nice physical defense. You know, I am Radon. I do have to look the part. Have the good defense of the Radon. Ah! <laughs> that takes a lot of stamina. I'm gonna have to watch the stamina consumption on that. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> I knew he was going to come in range, but that was kind of perfect. I didn't even take a trade there. That was just a good spacing, I guess. Ramune, hello there. Ooh, a wizard. Possible wizard. Confirmed wizard. Ooh, you don't see that much. Come here, wizard. Oh, good dodge, good dodge. It kind of looked like he was going to, ooh, get hit by the Ash of War right there. Okay. Let's boost the Ash of War. I want to try to land the full thing so badly. It's quite difficult. Ha! <laughs> that scraped my toe. Unfortunate. Ooh! Deceptive range, honestly. Moonveil. I did that a little bit earlier. That would have been a good roll catch. I think he wants to do the Ash of War again. Boop. I'll delay that, maybe? Yeah, not enough. I have to delay it even more for the stun that it has. Trade! <laughs> I really wanted to do that, and honestly, it was kind of worth it. <laughs> the next challenger of Radon is... Sed? Hello, Sed. Ooh, a katana. But what kind of katana? Is that a moon veil? That may be a moon veil. It is a moon veil. I always find it interesting when you get hit by the moon veil Ash of War. Uh, if you're mid jump, it doesn't really do, do much damage at all. It's such tiny chip damage. My friend, you have 1000 HP. <laughs> wow. I, I didn't expect that at all. And now we have 99 with a halberd. What's in the offhand, my man? Uh, a type of dagger or... So we have a halberd. The Knight Rider halberd, to be exact. What kind of dagger is that? Kind of looks like the Erdsteel. Hard to tell, though. <laughs> Unfortunate. It's so hard to backstab that, actually. I've tried. Ooh! Hold up. Oh, we have some pretty high ping. Okay, noted. <laughs> some very high ping. Oh, that didn't hit. Backstab? Didn't expect the backstab to work out that time. I'm not gonna go for another backstab. Yeah, I will not get it with that kind of connection. <laughs> <laughs> this looks pretty funny. Oh, you were able to get a chip hit with a halberd in and get out of there? That is definitely higher ping. I will just finish that because <laughs> it's going to be very hard to trade with that kind of connection. Very fun fight though. Interesting. A vertical moveset halberd with a dagger. Different. Next we have Mr. Toad. A bull goat. Wizard, our favorite.
You gotta be out of stamina, right, Mr. Toad? You think he's heavier at rolling? That's a lot of damage. That's a severe amount of damage. <laughs> oh, he can't. He can't roll at all. But the amount of stamina that man must have had for all the constant casts into the attacks <laughs> caught me off guard. But then also not able to wear the set. I'm, I'm confused. Our next opponent is Pod Bagel Co. <laughs> With a Claymore. Hello there, Pod. Ooh, oh, you're using... Why do I say... Yeah, Pebble. Using the Pebble. The Pebble Warfare. Come here, Mr. Pebble. Oh, wow. Okay, we landed it. I'll take it. That was the full Ash of War. No complaints. Bam. Okay, I gotta delay that a little bit more. It's pretty slow. Actually, it's pretty quick. Can't even deny. That's pretty quick. Bam. <laughs> Chop my swords. Not a bad attack, honestly. The dual crouch attack comes up pretty quick. All right, heading into our final battle, and we have Vike. Hello, Vike, with the madness. I'm definitely going to be watching out for the madness. All right, Vike. Ooh. Oh, okay. Radon, pull. Unfortunate. Yeah, that was my bad. I rolled towards that. Although he wasn't able to capitalize on it, so that's kind of nice. Ah. Yes. <laughs> I really wanted to jump the spear there. Bam. Aw, oh, I thought that was going to finish it. Would have been a nice little chop. <laughs> okay, we're going to let our stamina rebuild a little here. Bam. Aw, oh, really? Straight into this. Okay, I'm going to have to be careful now. Bam. <laughs> I love the epic finishers. I'm a fan of my jumping attacks when people spear towards me, but sometimes you do it a little bit late, you take the hit. Very fun fight though, like cosplay versus cosplay. A weeping peninsula invasion as our first invasion. And we've invaded wood. Oh, hello there, wood. I didn't see you there at all. Interesting. Hey, it didn't take off the Royal Knight's Resolve. Unfortunate. That was pretty weak. Huh. Dual Lance. It's got some good stamina management. Alright, Wood. <laughs> take that 500 damage. These are the fastest recovering swords. I think I might go for the one. Just so I can recover and uh, poke as well. He's going for the jump attack, maybe? He didn't want that at all. That time we get a roll catch. Mr. Wood drinking the first heal. He might go for another one. <laughs> I think I might do wield it. Ah, oh, that hit. <laughs> that missed me. I mean, that didn't miss me. Mine missed him. Ah, oh, when you jump over it, unfortunate. Ooh. <laughs> oh, GG Wood. <laughs> Not a flask was drinking by Radon in true boss fashion, but wow, that HP. 45. <laughs> Moving on to the next invasion. Now Radon is in Lyurnia. Oh, I see. Wait, oh, I thought that was the host. <laughs> oh, they're fighting something. Hey, let me just uh, do this really quick. Wait, wait. They're not fighting anything. They ran by it. 
Where are you bringing me, sir? Oh, you don't have this grace point yet? What? Does he even know I exist? Can I be a sneaky Radon? Do you see this red person here? You don't see Radon. Not at all. Hello there. Let me pull you a little closer for some love. <laughs> Take my Radon blast. <laughs> Oh, these do not have the best tracking in terms of the backstep running attack. That's funny. <laughs> Bam! Ah, oh, if these had a little bit more range. <laughs> They'd be doing wonders with that crouch attack. Probably have to, like, free aim it. Oh, oops. I was like, why is my jump attack not doing that much damage? I accidentally swapped it. We punish the Estus a little bit each time. <laughs> that was a really good AoE, wow. It looked like he sort of dodged that properly, but I guess he did it a little bit early and caught the end of his roll. <laughs> Moving into the final invasion, I just heard what sounded like a phantom die. Indeed, one of them did perish. Oh wait, are they both around this corner? Oh my god, yes. Hello there, come to me. Ah, unfortunate. But I can still pull you. <laughs> Amazing. He's <laughs> got a poison build. I kind of like it. He's got like the poison things. I can hide behind this and pull. <laughs> Why is that so fun? Oh, I have no more blue flasks. Honestly, this would be optimal moments for that, too. Coming in. I've had a stamina. <laughs> You dare attack my knight. How is it alive? What new game plus are they on? <laughs> oh, they're taunted tongued. And that guy still had his iframes 100% of the time. Boop. Boop. Oh, I'm sorry, Mao. Careful. Your host is almost dead. You got this, host is red. You got this. I believe in you. I tried to save you. I just got a moon veil. Nice job. Oh, well. Good job, Mr. Red. Good job. You didn't see I, you have a Radon on your side, Sir Rick. <laughs> all right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Star Scourge Greatsword. I hope everyone enjoyed the Radon cosplay. I actually really did enjoy using this weapon. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting other weapons, builds, and Ashes of War you'd like to see showcased below. I will eventually be getting through all of them. I feel like we're making some good progress now. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.